Greetings to e 0 PGS here, just a quick video. This is a quick sort of review of the uh, apologies if I pronounce this wrong. Uh, Omerso Altos. It's probably hard to see the reflection there. Get a good view of the label. Uh, Omerso Altos. 100% agave, res, uh, resposado tequila, or reposado. Um, so yeah, made in Mexico, 38% volume. Um, let's read the, well, let's get a sip of it here. I've got it over some ice just because it's very hot weather here at the moment, and this was quite warm in this room. I think my room's about 27 degrees at the moment. Celsius, of course. So, uh, so it says, uh, Omos, uh, Omos, uh, yeah, Omesia Altos is 100% agave tequila of exceptional character and outstanding smoothness. Omesia Altos is exclusively produced in Los Altos region, the highlands of central Mexico. This particular region is renowned for the ideal soil and climate to grow, to grow the perfect blue agave. Our only ingredient, so the only ingredient in this is 100% blue agave. After a slow and complex elaboration process, okay, we leave our tequila to age in white oak barrels. Melcia Altos is best enjoyed neat to on the rocks, blah 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 blah. So it's a bit hard to read with the font. Is. So, yeah, 38%, I believe. I'll just quickly check for you guys. Uh, I think I paid 20. Oh, that was right there, actually. Let's have a quick let's check what I actually paid because the pricing varies. £22 for this one off Amazon. Other shops are available. So. Hmm. See, so yeah, I wouldn't put um, whiskey on the rocks. You could probably get away with a bourbon on the rocks, but this tequila goes well on the rocks. Tequila and gin go quite well on the rocks. Um, so yeah, this is a um, reason I'm making this review is because I would recommend for any whiskey uh, whiskey drinkers want to try something else, I would recommend you try this. So there's normally three different types of uh, tequila. I am somewhat of a tequila uh, noob, also known as beginner. But, uh, it's three main different types. I forget the other types. Let me have a look if I can quickly find the... So this is a... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this is a Reposado. You can also get Plata. And there's one other. And Gino. And Ejo. And Ejo. I'm probably pronouncing it all wrong. Um, but yeah, the three different types. So this one's in the middle. This, this one's in, oak, I believe, white oak barrels for about a year, I think. But the uh, Plata is a clear one which I believe doesn't go in barrels at all or they don't go in the barrels very long anyway and then you've got the uh, Anijo which is in barrels for a bit longer so it's got a darker colour but uh, this is middle ground it's um, still got a nice oaky taste so that's why I recommend it for whiskey drinkers and it's um, still got a nice slight bitterness and then quite a smooth, sweet aftertaste. Generally a very pleasant drink. So yeah, certainly for the price I'd recommend this. This bottle's gone down quite quickly. Goes brilliant on the rocks in the summertime, or just by itself. I don't mix it with anything. I recommend some of you whiskey guys to try this try this stuff out. Uh, I might try branching out to some of our brands of these tequilas and possibly try comparing the the longer 
aged tequilas. So thanks for watching with 2E0PGS.